Good evening everybody. My name is Prashant and I'm a maths teacher by profession. Now, in this video we are going to be learning three basic terms of linear equations. Number one is going to be variable. Number two is going to be coefficient. And number three is going to be constant. So let's not waste the time and start with a variable. Question is, what is a variable? And the answer is very simple. Variables are all the alphabets or the letters used in a term, expression, and equation. Now, in this video, we won't be talking about term, expression, or equation, but we will be just talking about simple terms like variable. So, as we know, variables are just simple alphabets and letters. So, for example, a, B, X, Y, C, D, E, F, etc. Whatever. The most important thing about a variable is that all variables represent a value. This is the tagline for understanding the term variable. I'm sure most of you have seen um, equation like this before. Let's let's just take um, let's take X plus 2 equals 8. You might be wondering why do we have a letter X in this equation? What is the role of letter X? What is this letter meant for? Now let's learn more about this. Let's write our equation which was X plus 2 equals 8. Now anybody can tell what plus 2 equals 8. So x gonna be 6 plus 2 equals 8. Now, so as we can see from this equation the value of x is 6. That's how 6 plus 2 equals 8. Can we say in this equation that the value of x equal 6? In simple words, we can also say that x represent x represent number 6. So, we can say that the hidden the hidden the hidden value of x equals 6 that's what we are talking about variable is an alphabet that represent a value now let's just study it one more time so that we don't have any confusion in our heads okay now since x equals 6 okay so we can say x has a hidden value hidden value I'm so bad at using this pen tablet um, x has a hidden value of 6 so x is a variable. X is a variable because X equal variable equals 6. Now this 6 is just in case of this equation. Why do we have the term variable? We have the term variable because the value of a variable might vary from question to question. In this question X is 6. In some other question, x could be 6,000, or 6 million, or 0 0.6, or 0 0.06, or 600. That's why the letter with the hidden value, or the letter which represents a value, is called a variable, because the values of the letter may vary from question to question. Now, let's, um, let's take some other question really quick. Let me just tell you why this is called a variable. Why this is called a variable? Now let's take another equation. 
Let's take x minus 10 equal 20. Now in this case, the value of x is gonna be 30. 30 minus 10 equal 20. So x gives out to the numeric value which is 30. So we can say x represent x represent 30. So let's move on. Now what is a variable? Any alphabet present in an equation. As I told you, equation terms expression I will explain you in the next video. This video is just to learn the basics to do a linear equation or a linear equation. So once again variable is any alphabet present in an equation which represent a value. A value or also you can say which represent a numeric value. To, let's make it a little bit more simple. In our case x is a variable and x represent 6. Conclusion variables are any alphabet which represent a value. Now we are done with variable. Let's move on to our second topic and our second topic is coefficient. Once again if you have never heard of it or you're trying to learn this there will be always a question in your head what is the coefficient and the answer is any number which is multiplied to the variable variable we just learned variable is something like a b c x y z any of this alphabets in an equation or in a term or in an expression is known as variable now let me use the same equation as we did last time when we learned variable. Now let me write the same variable which was x plus 2 equals 8. Now as we can read a coefficient is any number which is multiplied to the variable. Let me add the number 2. Okay let's just circle what we need to learn so that we don't lose our focus there's 2x 2x let's bring this 2x to this side let's write 2x okay now what is 2x basically 2x can be represented as x plus x. Like any case, what about a TV plus a TV is 2TV. A pen plus a pen is a 2 pen. So x plus x is 2x. Or we can also write it as 2 multiply x. As you can see above, any number which is multiplied to the variable is called a coefficient. So here we can clearly see that this number 2 is being multiplied with our variable and, and our variable right here is x so let me just write x is variable my my handwriting on this tablet is horrible I'm sorry everybody okay so now we know what is the coefficient. Coefficient is any number, which is 2 in our case, multiplied to x, which is variable. So, so we can write right here that 2 is a coefficient. So now we know what is the coefficient. Just do a quick recap on this one. Any number, okay? So in our case, our number is 2 which is multiplied so let's just add an operator right here multiplied and we know our variable is x let me just make it a little bit more clear for you so that you have no confusion number in our case as you can see above our number was 2 and our 
variable was x. So 2 multiplied x. Any number multiplied to the variable is called the coefficient. So in our case, 2 is coefficient of the variable x. So we can write, we can write right here that 2 is the coefficient of the variable x. As you can see, let's just fill this equation to multiply to the variable and our variable was x. So, now we know what is a coefficient. Simple words, coefficient is just any numerical value being multiplied to the variable. That's all. That's what coefficient is. Now we are done with coefficient. Now and finally, let's get into constant. Again, the same question in your mind, what is the constant? And and the simple answer to this question is constants are basically any independent number. Now, independent number means just the number, nothing else with it. Any independent number or any numeric value used in a term, expression or equation. Now what we are going to do right here is write the same equation we used last time but with a different color because I like coloring. 2x plus 2 equals 8. As we know, 2 is coefficient, x is variable. Now what is this 2? What is this 8? What are they? Are they any independent numbers or any numerical value? Yes, they are. And that's why they are called constants. Now, this 2 right here and this 8 right here, these both values are very well known as constant. Let me write down. constants. So let's just draw a line right here and write. So 2 and 2 and 8 are constants. In a given equation. Now, let's review constant one more time. Let's just make it clear that we all understand what is a constant. So, let's go write down a very simple definition of constant. So, we can write constants are just simple, simple and independent. independent numeric values. Simple and independent numeric value. The reason why they are called constant is constant is basically something which will not change its value. For this, now why do we say that? Because for this equation plus 2 will play the role of plus 2. 8 will play the role of the number 8. Their values are not going to change and their values are going to be constant. That's why this independent numbers in an equation is called constants. Now we know what is a constant but before we go further we need to review what we learned in this video. So number one we learned what is a variable. Number two was coefficient and number three we learned what is a constant. Let's go ahead and give it a simple overview, a simple summary. Let's go summarize this. Let me write down the same equation one more time. Simple. 
Now, let's see. 2x plus 2 equal 8. Let's go find out. Let's go figure it out. What is the coefficient, what is the variable, and what number is the constant? So, as we learn that a lattice, which is x right here, in any equation are variables. So, let's go just mark this out really quick. So, we know x is a variable. What about 2? We know 2 is a coefficient. And what is a coefficient? A number which is multiplied to variable. I'm sorry, I forgot to write variable right here. Now, 2x is already classified as coefficient and variable. What about this plus 2? What do we do about this plus 2? As we learn, our last topic was constant. And what is constant? Simply independent numbers in a term, expression, or equation. So as we can see, 2 is an independent number. So 2 is going to be a constant as well as 8. As we can see, 2 and 8 both are constant. And I guess that's the end of my video. My name is Teacher Prashant again, let me tell you. End of this video. And before I finish my first video ever on YouTube, let me just tell you my topics which I'm going to be covering for my next video. My next video, the number one topic which, is, which I'm going to cover is a term, followed by the second topic which is expression and at last equation so these three terms we are gonna study in the next video and thank you so much for watching if you have any questions or if you wanna ask me anything please drop down a comment below and if you like my video if you think it was kinda helpful to you please do drop a like and subscribe to my channel thank you so much see you again a very goodbye from teacher Prashant